the McGirt precedent apply to the Choctaw Nation? I'm Tulsa Attorney James Worth, and that's what we're about to discuss. All right, so a little bit of background. Uh, McGirt, the United States Supreme Court decision, decided on July 9th of 2020 that the Muscogee Creek Reservation was never disestablished. And therefore, the original reservation boundaries are still in existence for defining what Indian country is. And in that territory, the state of Oklahoma lacks jurisdiction, subject matter jurisdiction, to prosecute Indians. Uh, that is putting a lot of convictions as well as pending cases in jeopardy, and we're seeing a lot of those thrown out. But the question at this point is, how wide um, it, does that precedent have on other tribes? So does it apply to the Choctaw Nation? Well, a couple things. One, the Choctaw Nation is one of the five civilized tribes. So when it's in a very similar circumstances as the Muscogee Creek Nation um, when these treaties were put in place. So if we're applying the same rule that is in McGirt, to facts that are also very similar, it's highly likely that the result will be the same. So we do expect that the Choctaw Nation Reservation will be found to have not been disestablished and that that territory is still reservation land, meaning that Indians cannot be prosecuted for crimes that allegedly occurred in there in state court. It has to go in either federal court or tribal court, depending on the offense. All right, so when are we gonna know and how are we gonna know? So. If somebody is facing charges in one of those counties, let's go over what counties those are. That's uh, all or a portion of Cole County, Hughes County, Haskell County, Latimer County, Pittsburgh County, Atoka County, LaFleur County, Pushpataha County, McCurtain County, Choctaw County, and Bryan County. So if you are being charged with an offense in one of those counties, then you might look to find out where the historic border is. To find that map, you can actually go to my website. We've got a link to it on our McGirt page. You would go to worthlawoffice.com. And then on the left-hand side, there's a link to McGirt v. Oklahoma. And then on that page, we've got all the different uh, uh, five civilized tribes along with links to a Google map that shows where those lines are. So if you're being charged or prosecuted for a crime that occurred um, in one of those, uh, the boundaries of that tribe, then this is going to be very important to you. And you're going to want to file a motion to dismiss for want of jurisdiction. And it's incumbent on the trial judge at that point to apply the precedent in McGirt to see if it applies to the facts of the Choctaw tribe to see if it has jurisdiction. A lot of courts are holding off on doing that because they're waiting for a higher court to make that determination before the trial court does it. And that arguably is done uh, for judicial expedience rather than the trial court deciding the same thing 100 times. Uh, they're gonna wait for the appellate court to decide it and then apply it to those 100 cases. Um, and there's already a case pending on that. So, um, got a little bit of information on that for the Choctaw Nation. There's the case of Keith Davis that's being prosecuted, um, and that is actually in Latimer County, part of the historic reservation uh, for the Choctaw Nation. And he was a convicted back in 2005 of some hor horrible offenses like forcible sodomy, and now he is appealing through post-conviction relief, alleging the court lacked jurisdiction. And this case um, was actually already has gone through the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals. It was denied there and it was appealed to the United States Supreme Court. And then um, on the same day that the United States Supreme Court decided McGirt, it remanded this case back down to the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals. So at least the United States Supreme Court believed that it may be in the same circumstances as McGirt. Um, and then the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals remanded it to the um, trial court in Latimer County to have an evidentiary hearing on whether the defendant is an Indian um, under federal law and whether it occurred in um, Indian country, i.e. was the Choctaw Nation ever disestablished. So that hearing was actually scheduled for November 20th of 2020, uh, but I have not received what the results of that hearing are yet. In similar cases, we have found, and there's a number of them that we're tracking, but this is the one that's in Choctaw Nation territory. Um, in the similar ones for other uh, tribes, the court has found that the defendant was uh, Native American and that the reservation was not disestablished. Probably something similar here will happen. That information will then go back to the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals, and they will decide this appeal on whether to vacate this conviction or not. And then the person is potentially open to re-prosecution in federal court or tribal court, depending on the charge. Here we're looking more federal court, but it's also going to depend on statute of limitations, which here doesn't appear to be an issue, but in some cases it may be. 
So if you or someone you know is facing these sorts of circumstances, they've got a charge pending, they have a conviction, they want to look to see if McGirt is affecting them in the Chalkock Nation, you're going to want to talk to an attorney about your specific circumstances uh, to contact and talk to somebody at my office. You can go to makelaweasy.com.